Hi, I'm Mike Marco. In this video, I want to talk to you about your digital assets. Now, what do I mean by that? That could be your website, social media platforms, if you're using Amazon or any kind of e-commerce sites, those are all digital assets, electronic assets that help you build your business. Now, one of the things that you need to consider right away is when you're looking at establishing your online presence is social media is great, it's awesome, but you don't actually own it, okay? Sure, it's free, but at any point, a social media can either shut down or they can shut you down. Okay, because for instance, Facebook has been known to shut down pages if they violate terms and conditions. Um, same thing with say a digital website, like if you have free websites, if you violate the terms and conditions and you gotta make sure you understand them really well, they can shut down your site. So you, what you need to do is actually have a website that you actually own and pay for, like a WordPress web, or website. And that becomes your main hub because that's what you own. It's your, your main digital asset is your website. Okay. So you have your website it's at the very, very center of everything, okay? Then on top of that, you need to figure out what is a social media platform that you, you think is the best one for your target audience. Knowing your target audience, where do they spend the majority of their time, and also which has the, the most features that are beneficial for your communication and your promotion. I'll give you an example for mine is Facebook, because a demographic for Facebook is, is about right. It's a uh, slightly older versus Instagram is a younger crowd. And it also has a great marketing platform, my favorite ones right now. Plus it has a great messaging system. So I put Facebook here, but you might have something different depending on exactly what you're promoting, who your target audience is. Okay. And what happens between these is I actually have them communicating together. So I have my website referencing Facebook, and Facebook referencing my website. Okay, they come to my little, my kernel, my hub of everything. And then I have my other, other social media platforms and websites. So for instance, I have Instagram, Twitter. Okay, I'm gonna put these all in a big circle. Instagram, then I have YouTube. Uh, I have LinkedIn. Let's see here, then I have, let's see what else here. Well, those are some examples, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter. Then I have other websites. Okay, some of these may be paid sites, maybe free sites. Um, some might be article sites and so on. And all these different sources that are out here, okay? Every single one of these out here actually reference inside. So I have social media, because people on social media tend to like to stay on social media. So I have Instagram going to Facebook. I also have going to my website. And that could be the URL I like to usually have go to my website. That's in the description for Instagram. But any kind of reference I also send them, they can direct messaging, I send them to Facebook. Same thing with Twitter. Same thing with YouTube. Okay, same thing with LinkedIn. And these websites, same thing. Right? All these double double arrows going into the center. So it creates like a hub, okay? It's like a giant web that you're setting up here, a net, of, so to speak, that's bringing everybody to the center and then, the, and then the whole idea is you keep them within this kernel. This has the advantage of knowing how you're gonna direct your traffic, okay? But also what it does too, it actually helps you with search engine optimization because you're directing, not only directing your traffic, but these act as backlinks to your main site. So it actually really helps boost your main site. Now, what happens if you have maybe a secondary offering? So maybe, maybe you have uh, your primary business, maybe a consulting website, and then you have a product. Well, that product might have its own website, okay? So let's say it's over here. Let's say we have a product over here, okay? And maybe that product is cool enough that she actually want to build up its own Facebook page, okay? And then what you can do, fill up another circle here, we maybe have your own Instagram for it, your own YouTube for it, uh, LinkedIn maybe, etc. And what happens is all these things too, will now link inside, okay? 
So now you have your, your net, another another net, like another ring, another kernel, okay, on the, on the outside of the main one. So it's the same kind of purpose. You create now an additional net to the product, and the product links back to the main website. And if you have multiple of these things over time, as you build these things up, you're going to find you can have multiple of these different little uh, little nets around the master hub. Now, of course, you're not going to build this up overnight. Literally, for me to build up mine, it's taken me years to build mine up. So you start off with your initial kernel, and then as you add additional sites onto it, you make sure you understand what your overall plan is with tra directing traffic in your links. So that way, that over time you build this up, you can actually build up a really elaborate plan with links and knowing where the traffic's gonna go. If you don't do this, you don't plan this out, it may seem tri trivial, but if you don't, what's gonna happen is you're gonna have links going everywhere. You're gonna send people from Twitter to Instagram to LinkedIn to YouTube and everywhere. And they're gonna get lost and you're gonna miss the point that really you want them to go to is your primary website, your primary Facebook page, and keep them within that kernel because that's where you wanna really cultivate and grow your, your, your potential customers or clients. It's in here, okay? So that way you can focus most of your time inside here. Otherwise, you're gonna find if you're trying to cultivate an Instagram, Twitter, maybe you have multiple Twitter accounts, multiple Instagram accounts, et cetera, you're gonna, you're gonna waste a lot of time on the fringe here where really, if you just cultivate and move everybody to the center, you can spend all your time communicating with your customers here, okay? Same thing here. So you have a product site, you can have all these additional sites here, but if you focus, maybe you have a, a primary Facebook page for your product and one for your actual, say, consulting business here, okay? And then everything links to your main hub, okay? So keep this in mind where you start planning out your digital assets and what you're trying to do is go towards your tar target audience, your target customer, and keep this in mind as you're building it up. Okay, thank you very much, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.